Hey craft family, it's me! Um, so, uh, today's video, yuck, not about my hands being dirty, I swear. Um, today's video is about how we are all busy and how sometimes we don't create and we, rather than create, we end up accumulating crap and then sitting on YouTube and going, ooh, that's cool, ooh, that's cool, I want to do that, but never actually doing anything. So if you're anywhere like that, or even remotely sometimes like that, because I'm sometimes like that, believe me, I do a lot more YouTube surfing than I do creating lately. Um, I mean, yeah, it may seem like I'm doing a lot of creating because you see videos and live streams, but honestly, I spend a lot of time, you know, because right now I'm not working, so if I'm not cleaning my house or getting things organized, I'll spend, you know, two hours sitting there looking at YouTube and getting ideas or doing this and that. But some of us don't do, like, any creating or, or we have busy schedules and we work and we have kids and, you know, we think, oh, I don't have time to sit down and get out a big art journal and gesso pages and then try to figure out what I want to cover it with and blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of work. I get it, you know, or, you know, it, it's hard to come up with things to do in, in, you know, when you have a short limited time and, and, you know, a very pressed schedule because you got kids and activities and work and you're tired. Um, Janet, <laughs> Miss Busy Janet, who actually has been creating lately. I've seen some creations that she made that were really nice. Um, but yeah, we, we seem to get lost in the hustle and bustle or get lost in our own heads or get lost in YouTube or get lost in buying stuff and never using it. Either way, whatever the reason, I think we just need to say screw it and do it. And that's it. Just screw it and do it. And that's basically what this is. This is a screw it and do it you're going to take 10 minutes and do the bare minimum art. Screw it and do it. Bare minimum art. Um, you can every day. Now, obviously, if you're sick or if you're, you know, you're just pushed to the limit and you're absolutely exhausted and your day is full, that's one thing. But if you find yourself having time to sit on YouTube or to sit and watch TV or, you know, whatever, like if you're just sitting around and instead of, instead of arting, you're watching TV or you're watching YouTube or you're, you know, online shopping or whatever, no, 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 screw it and do it. Get yourself some sort of very small book, it can be just a cheap book, it does not have to be anything expensive, the smaller the better because you want to keep it small. Now, of course, if you're creative and you're creating every day or you're creating, you know, at least, you know, several, several times a week and, you know, you don't feel the need to have to do this, then you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But if you're, if you're creating several times a week but still want to find time to fit in something else to be creative then this is for you. Or if you're not creating nearly enough, if you're not creating at all during the week because you're so busy, because you just can't find the time, then you can find time for this because this is only going to take you 10 minutes. This is just a screw it and do it. This is just, I, I can either sit down and watch TV or I can grab this and say screw it and do it or I could sit in front of the TV and do it. So it doesn't matter. Screw it and do it. Bare minimum art. That's what this is about. 10 minutes a day. That's it. You're just going to do 10 minutes a day. You're not going to commit to anything else. You're just going to sit down for 10 minutes. You don't prep anything. You don't have to do anything. Just sit down and do something for 10 minutes. I don't care what it is. Do anything you can for 10 minutes. Open up a page, no matter where it is, whatever, and just grab something and start doing something. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter about anything. There's no finish. There's no start. There's no end. There's no beginning. There's no nothing. Just do something. Just do something. You don't have to finish it. You could finish it later. You could just do 10 minutes of whatever. You could just sit there and doodle for 10 minutes. You can just take, uh, you know, some paint and go like that and rub it on the page for 10 minutes. Anything. You can collage your scraps for 10 minutes. You can do anything at all for 10 minutes. You can use that time for mixed media mashup. Grab your cards and go, okay, 10 minutes. Let's see what I can do. Let me grab 10 cards, do one every minute for the next 10 minutes. 
and that's it that's your that's what you're gonna do 10 minutes a day screw it or do it screw it and do it bare minimum art it's the bare minimum you're just doing the bare minimum that you can do 10 minutes everybody can find 10 minutes we're in the bathroom longer than 10 minutes okay now I'm gonna do this as well because I have days where I don't do anything or I sit on YouTube too much so what I'm gonna do is I have these and I could use these but I also have this and it's been sitting there staring me in the face and so I'm gonna use these little cards now you don't have to use these don't feel like you have to go and it's just, oh I have to use it because she's no use your little books if you don't have one of these because I understand that not everybody has one of these they're old they're hard to find it's not worth buying one. I got it from the Creative Reuse. It, you know, it's just, I made a donation and I was able to get all the things I needed. So it wasn't like I paid extra for it. I just got it. So I'm gonna use it because it's, you know, I just, this, I can do this. I can do 10 minutes. I could probably do three of these in 10 minutes. You know what I mean? So 10 minutes a day. Now, obviously, if it's a day where I'm creating and I'm filming and I'm working on something, I don't have to do this. You don't have to do this on the days where you're already creating. This is for the days that you're not creating. This is for the days where you're sitting in front of YouTube and you're not feeling motivated to get something out big or to make a big mess. This is for just doing a little tiny mess, something you can clean up with one baby wipe. Wham, and you're done. Let it dry, and then I could put it back in here the next day and take another card and, be, and go on my way. Or... Here you go. Sit down, open the book up, start doing something. If you feel like your, your pages are gonna fall out, take some masking tape. Put them in the center of your pages before you start real quick because masking tape has that texture on it where you could paint over it, whatever. Just put a little piece right in the center and it won't fall out. Or you can get one that's like sewn in or glued in like this one. No, this one's the same way. You know, just any little book, whatever. A tiny little composition book, a tiny little, 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 little. Littler the better. You can use index cards. You don't have to use a book at all. Just grab some index cards, not even the big ones. These are the big ones. You can get the little ones. Do a little one every day. Do one index card. By the end of it, you could put a punch a hole in them and put them all on a ring and have a really cool kind of index card journal so that's that's what we're doing that is our you know not necessarily a challenge just screw it and do it no more sitting around doing nothing no more buying products and not using them at least do something with them and this is great for us hoarders who don't like to use anything because oh no if we use it up holy crap we won't be able to buy it again you only use a little bit you're not using much, see? You can use your stuff because you're not using a lot up on one tiny little spot. You have no excuse not to do something. I'm holding you accountable. Screw it or do it. Bare minimum art. So get working. I wanna see in the group, I have a Facebook group, link is in the description below. I wanna see pictures of your bare minimum art. So screw it and do it. Whether it's this, whether it's this, whether it's this, whatever. Find something. Everybody has them. I don't want to hear, well, I don't have anything to do it on because that's a lie. That's a lie. Because you could take some of your scrap papers that you have sitting in a, in a pile and cut some up and make a tiny little book, staple it, and there you go. Use that. Take copy paper, staple it. Anything will work. I mean, we're not looking to embellish it with heavy stuff. We're just throwing some paint, some stamping, some collage. You know what I mean? This is just your junk. We're not here to make perfection. It's just do something. Do something. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter. So, I'm going to do one right now. I'm going to set this for 10 minutes. If I could figure out how. 10 minutes and let's start I'm just gonna get some paints don't even have to prepare ahead of time I'm gonna use my favorite colors and I'm gonna throw some paint for 10 minutes I'm just gonna sit here everybody has 10 minutes I don't think there's anybody that just doesn't have 10 minutes a day. 
And if one day you can't do 10 minutes, do five minutes. But try to aim for 10 minutes because 10 minutes will give you a little bit more relaxation, satisfaction, and this is that's the thing, that's the point. I mean, look how much product I'm using. If you can't spare that much of your product, I'm talking to you hoarders, because I know who you are, you know who you are. All right, maybe I have to take two drops. But you know what I mean, if you can't spare a finger full of your favorite paints, then I think you should give up doing art altogether. If you can't spare a finger full of paint every day, to do a little to do a little art of your favorite paints maybe not your cheapy paints but maybe you have some nice paints that you've just been hoarding and hoarding or nice little paper bits that you're hoarding uh-uh now's the time to break them out i don't even have time to clean up my mess and then i could take my little heat gun and i can dry this real quick didn't take long at all to dry and you don't have to gesso it I mean if you want to you can but it's such a little area it's not like you have to gesso it and now I'm gonna grab a stamp I'm gonna grab a stamp we're gonna grab a script stamp I just grabbed the first stamp that I saw and I happen to have used this the last time so I'm just gonna grab that I'm not even putting it on a block just grabbing it and I'm not rushing. I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm rushing. You know, I can get something done in 10 minutes. That's not an issue. I still have seven and a half minutes to go. You see what I mean? Like, you can do this in 10 minutes. And if you happen to finish a card before the 10 minutes is over and you don't feel like doing something else, hey, at least you completed something. If you do complete it, you don't have to complete it. But if you do, you do. So I've got that. That's a cool background, right? That's pretty cool. Now, I didn't get anything out for this because I was just like, well, I'm not going to get anything out. I'm going to treat it as if it was, you know, if it was me doing something like I would normally do. She might not fit on there. Oh, yes, yeah, she does fit on there, but then she'll be sideways. That's okay. I just got these in Happy Mail. I'm trying to decide if I want to use a skull. That won't fit. I think I like that mermaid. Isn't that cool? I love this mermaid. So I can get her on there because it can stick up a little bit. It just can't stick this way because this is where it sits down. Obviously, if you're doing a page, you won't have to worry about that because obviously something like that would fit. That's why I said don't worry about using what I'm using. Use what you got. I'm just using this because I have it and because it's been sitting here and it's either, I, I, I said to myself when I dug it out, or found it, um, I, I was like, well, I haven't been using it, and I just was talking to um, somebody else about them, and I was like, you know what, I haven't used mine, I've had it for a while, it's, you know, I'm getting packing and getting stuff ready to go, and it's like, I specifically got it to do something with it, but never did. And I'm at the point now where I can't afford to just sit here and hold on to it and not do nothing with it. So, but I didn't want to get rid of it because you know me, I don't want to get rid of anything because I know someday I'll use it. That's my mentality. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. And that's exactly how I ended up saying, screw it and do it. <laughs> just screw it and do it. And that's kind of how you got to look at it. Don't make excuses not to make excuses too I'll just press her down so far that's what that looks like and let me just make sure this will close and everything right yeah yeah this thing's nice and pretty high up so it won't, it won't affect it there we go. Let's see. Now, if I can just find some wording. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Alright, where's my scissors?
because this is how it would be. It would be with me searching for stuff, and that's fine. Even with searching for stuff, I still have three, almost four minutes left. It doesn't take long to do something. But it costs more mentally and financially to do nothing because if you're not doing anything but buying stuff and it's sitting there and you're not really using it then you're basically I mean because you're never it's not like it, you're investing in anything There's a piece of glue hanging off my finger it's not like you know because everything you buy is depreciating the second you buy it it's not like oh it's worth so much money even if you hold on to it and never use it no that's not how it works <laughs> Since it's going to be this way, I'm going to do it this way. Um, that's not how it works in crafting. It's either you use it or it becomes worthless. It'll either dry up and really be worthless. Or, you know, eventually you can't take it with you. You know what I mean? When you die, then it's just going to sit there and somebody's going to be like, oh. Let's donate it to the creative reuse because we don't know what to do with it, you know, and then it's not there anymore. I mean, we'd all like to think we're going to live forever and be able to use all our stuff, but if we're sitting there watching YouTube every day, rather than actually getting out our stuff and using it, eh, not a lot of good that does. So I think for the final touch... I'm going to add some glitter on her. I'm going to glitter her up. I don't know if I want to use that color because I might use some clear glitter since she's such a light color. It's raining out here. I'm just going to make her all glittery. I should have inked the border first. I was like, oh, I'll ink the border. And I'm like, oops. I should have done that first. That's okay. I have 50 seconds left. I can take some ink and kind of ink the border a little bit and if I'm careful I got the wrong ink out this one's a pain to ink with and with only 15 seconds left, I finished my 10 minutes, screw it or do it, bare minimum art, and I think she looks awesome. I'm not even gonna worry about it going off because it's got five seconds left. But see what I mean? Look what I created in 10 minutes. And I wasn't rushing. You know what I mean? In 10 minutes, I made this. I think it looks awesome. So what can you do in 10 minutes? That's what I want to know. I want to know what you're doing. Get off your asses and create something. That's what I'm saying. Screw it and do it. Bare minimum art. You could do it. I know you can. Get something and do it. Get something and do it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll give it a try and show me your pictures in the group Pink Poodle Crafts Creative, Pink Poodle Pack Creative Playground. Um, come hang out with us. We have a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video on your social media, Twitter, Facebook. <laughs> do what you love, love what you do, be nice to people I'll talk to you later, bye mm.